Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. Today, I am going to talk to you about how to use Bitly, a URL shortener, along with securequiz.com to more securely give online assessments. So, if you have used URL shorteners in the past, you may have used the goo.gl. I loved that one. It was very simple. There was an extension that I could just click and boom, I had my, my URL shortener. Uh, but that's going away. And so Bitly is a good alternative, although it could be blocked in your district because it's technically not a Google product. Um, so you'll need to check on that. But let's just assume that Bitly is allowed through your district and you have a Google form that you want to use as a quiz. Now this is a parent contact information, but the same idea applies. So what you will need to do is to have the form finished, your, your quiz or whatever it may be, uh, click the send button, and then come over here and click on where it has the link. So you get the link to that form. And so all we got to do is make sure it's, it's selected or even not selected and just press copy. And so we see now that it's been copied to our clipboard and then we go over to our bitly.com and we paste in our link. And so we can see the link right here that we've done in the past. Uh, and I'm not logged in. This is just going off of the IP address of this machine. Um, but here's our link right now. And here's our short code. What we need from the short code those last seven characters. So what we want to do now is go to our Chromebook. Now, on our Chromebook, our district has pushed out the securequiz.com uh, app, and they pushed it out as a kiosk app. If you don't know what a kiosk app is or how to install one uh, for your district, you will need to get your district Google dashboard administrator to do this, uh, push it out as a kiosk app. Um, if you have just Chromebooks that you're using that aren't regulated under a, a G Suite domain um, that are open to use. Chrome, uh, Google does have a tutorial on how to install kiosk apps. And so uh, it, it requires you going into developer mode and stuff like that. So that's why usually districts won't, you won't be able to do it. You'll have to get your admin to do it. So anyway, we have our bitly shortened our, our url shortened with bitly and what we'll do now is we'll go over to our chromebook and i'll show you how it works on the chrome so you can see on our chromebook that we're at the login screen we are not logged into this chromebook and that's on purpose it's blank and we need to leave it that way because a kiosk app runs with nobody logged in and so what we do is we come down here to where it says apps and then we click on the apps and it pops up all the apps that we have that we can run in kiosk mode. And all of these have been pushed out by our administrator, our district uh, Google dashboard administrator. But we're looking for secure quiz app, securequiz.com. And we'll click on that and it'll load. It'll take a second. And we still need internet access even though we're not logged in. So just be aware of that. Now, it'll ask for the access code. The access code is our last seven digits of that bit.ly code. So we'll type it in, uh, two, capital J, capital C, lowercase b, capital C, capital F, lowercase r. And capitals really do matter, so just be, be aware of that. And then we can click go. And so what it should do is it pulls up the form. And this is the form where the kids, you know, your students could take uh, a form or a survey or a quiz or what have you. And this works with any web-based assessment. So if you have some other web-based uh, assessment for the students, you just need to shorten the URL code with Bitly and then use those last digits and it'll pull it up in here. Now, if there's a login screen or something like that, that may not work as well depending on how the website runs. So if the students need to log in to access it, that could pre present a problem. Uh, so test it first. But if it's just an online, you know, they can access it uh, type assessment, this will work absolutely fine. And you can see there is, I can't go forward. 
I can't go I can go back I can't go backwards uh, I can go back home to the original screen but there's no options in here to to go anywhere Let's, if I can go to Google I can type in there I, I can't do anything with that so there, there's literally no way they can access anything else on the internet other than what they type in the code for. Now, cell phones are another issue. They could be using their cell phones in their lap or something like that. There's other ways to cheat. We all know that as teachers. But in order to do this, there's only one option for them to do, and that is to go where it takes them. which would be to our so even though we have options like NetOp support where we can monitor Chromebooks or do some filtering that way um, everything's not perfect uh, even the best filtering system in the world the, the students are gonna find exceptions to it they're gonna find out how to get around the filter they're gonna find out how to do this because they're motivated to do that and we all know that a motivated student can learn and teach themselves anything they want uh, so this is a good method for I don't know that I would use it exclusively uh, I would work on some classroom management skills I would work on some some digital citizenship and I would honestly try to do a lot more collaborative work with the students project-based learning that kind of thing uh, w with technology in my classroom because one uh, the, the students are going to learn better that way but then also I don't need that super tight reins control over my kids all the time I want them to explore and learn and, and be free and feel comfortable in the environment. And so I would use this for uh, major assessments, uh, unit tests, uh, chapter quizzes, um, you know, things that are, that are a little more uh, high stakes than, than a typical formative assessment um, as I go through my class. But I hope that showing you securequiz.com uh, has definitely helped and uh, I hope that it helps you with your uh, classroom management skills. See you next time. As always, uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more information on these useful tips like this, uh, instructional strategies, and sometimes just me stumbling over my words. Uh, but thanks for watching and we will catch you next time.